Hey, a girl. Hello. Oh, look at you and your little berries and cream collar. It looks like the berries and cream. Okay, anyway, I'm filling my sandbags for the tent. Um, at first, I thought I needed a bag to put in this so that I could not have literally Velcro be the only thing between sand and my car. But I put the sandbag on this chair because I'm a weak, small girl. And I am literally just letting it dribble into this because, I mean, there are better ways, but I've decided. I've committed. And we'll test to see how good the Velcro is at holding the sand in. Um, I'm getting pretty nervous about it. Hold on, let me... Oh no, I need to try to move it to the other bag. Hold on. Okay, so I bought another set of sandbags because the other one only holds 20 pounds of sand in each um, container thing and I need at least 30 and I'm afraid that they will check. This is like not the best shape but if I put this around the pole that should be fine. Anyway, if it works, it works. What is this for like, anyway, at this is the only one that could come here in like one day. So, I also lost this nail yesterday while filling the sandbags, so that's not coming back. Uh -huh. Yeah, so FYI, the master canopy tent only fills up to 20 pounds -ish of sand for each leg. If you need 30, you'll have to buy extra sandbags or just have an extra kind of weight on each leg. Um, the market is literally tomorrow, so I didn't bother thinking about it. I just found this, so I bought it. And thank you to Amazon Prime Shipping. Um, and this, again, I only have 55 pounds of sand, but I was talking to some other girls that do markets, and they said that they have seen the city check the weight and like literally I don't know if they like actually weigh it or something but um I have some aquatic sand to top off the extra weight I am missing so I'm going to fill these now but yeah FYI This is my friend Angela. She's helping. I'm more awake now. We have the tent set up. Thank you to a kind volunteer that helped us. Still nobody's here. Anyway, I'll we'll just start unpacking and then I think we'll throw a tarp over everything and then we'll just go eat over there. We used to have each other's playlists No, no we Used to be each other's best friends Yeah And now we go our separate pathways But you're Alright, we've got From Kayla With her candles Yeah. I told her to put these up But she said they'll fall over next week. Look how cute Wow So cute and there's Hakumar here. 
Here's Angela with her brow pin. clip on um it's freaking so cold i'm very cold and there's about 20 minutes until it starts i have no idea if you can hear me right now but we'll see how it goes i have black coffee i never drink black coffee but it's from red diner and i have the sticker rally thingies ready to go i pre-stamped a couple of them so they're ready but i'm very hyped i think i'm the first um, it's a very long road. I'll put a map, but it's the first route on the north side that people will see. Oh, yeah. So I'm in my car now because there's people staying at my place and I'm dropping off some stuff I'd show you but then I'd move the camera and which is my phone and then I would never be able to get in the right spot but so I'm sitting in my car talking to myself in a parking lot um, I'm gonna recap the market basically it is I think like the city's like biggest street festival um, it spans like I'll put a map here but it's like from in Calgary from 4th Street from 12th Ave all the way to the river it's like so many blocks i don't know like 20 blocks or something of just vendors and there's no screening process anyone can can have a booth there you just go to their website you pick your category you add it to your cart and then you literally check out and then i think like two or three weeks before the market they send me an email here's where your booth is whatever, whatever. um so i ended up sharing a booth with two other uh vendors there was from.kayla and taku.mart um so it was three of us crammed into this little booth and Overall, it was a great experience. I've never done a market that big. It was honestly chaotic. Um, it wasn't the best experience, I think. Um, it was extremely hot, which I know they can't control. Um, I didn't put the tent walls up because I thought it was for aesthetic and I was lazy, but really it's like to block out the sun. Oh my gosh, so it was really hot. My entire back is sunburned. Um, so there's that. It was 30 degrees all day except for the morning which was like so cold i was wearing like a sweater and i had a blanket and it was so cold and then it was burning hot um it was extremely chaotic there was no i mean it, it doesn't really need organization i guess but the booths are not organized in any way like it's literally random. I think there was like a dog leash person on the one side, a jewelry person on the other side, and then there was like a spirituality booth, and then Yarny Box was kind of near me. If you've seen her, I saw her YouTube. She has a vlog on Lilac Fest as well. Um, and she has more footage of like kind of walking around and seeing what it's like. It was literally like shoulder to shoulder, crazy busy. Um, but honestly, it was extremely chaotic for me. There were... First of all, it was extremely congested in our booth because we had three people in one booth. Each booth cost 400 Canadian, which is why we had three people crammed into one booth because that is very expensive. Um, the sales were good, but it was just extremely like mentally straining to have to deal with it. People were so rude um, and it was so busy. I don't know if it was like just chaotic because it was busy or what, but like people... You know how I have like the build your book bouquet? I sort them by flowers, sometimes by like color scheme in the baskets and the bags. And you know, you start at the beginning of the line. You, as soon as you see the booth, there's like a little chalkboard sign. It says like, build your own bouquet, pick your flowers, I'll wrap them, enjoy. And then you kind of see like basket flowers and then there's the menus and they're scattered through the whole table. And then you kind of see as you go through the price for each flower, there's a little chalkboard of the ones that aren't on the menu, the prices. 
so as you walk through you see it but people would literally just walk around everybody but through the whole crowd and then go to the front and be like how much is a flower I'm like oh, i mean I, that one is ten dollars and they'd be like okay can i get two of those and also one of those and then i'd be like okay and then i would like grab it for them and then they'd be like oh actually i don't like that combination can you grab a different color meanwhile there's like people picking their own bouquets and they're ready to pay and i'm like you're meant to like self-serve pick your bouquet and nobody like waited in the line nobody respected the line not that i wrote that there was a line or anything but i, I felt like it maybe was common sense i don't know um and then people would put stuff back everywhere like the menus all everywhere they were perfectly placed. I should have taped them down to the table like I did at Inglewood, which I taped down for the wind, but I I I found them like in the baskets, in the bags. There was one on the floor. They people would just grab them all and then stack them together and then just put them there so that no one else could see it. Or they would like hand them out to people behind the line, but then somebody tried to like walk away with one of the menus and people would put flowers back everywhere i didn't take a picture because i wanted to just get out of there at the end so fast but literally the baskets the bags like fell over because people were like so aggressive with everything and to be honest i you know it wasn't that much fun it to be honest it wasn't very fun um i also did a sticker rally which was great it was really fun which was like a stamp sticker rally where you hand out these cards and it has like different vendor booths on it and you have to go to each booth collect their stamp and then you get like a little goodie bag at the end so it was really fun except for when it got somewhat busy and then people started just walking up to like they would push through everybody get to the front and then they would just be like can, can i get a stamp can I, are you, do you do the stamps do you know where the other people's stamps are by the way like oh my god like i love doing markets and talking to people i am very introverted but like you know it's fun to see your products being appreciated and people seeing them in person and whatever but oh my god it was really chaotic and also i had these hanging plants that i hung on the tent i'll try to get more footage at inglewood that i'm doing tomorrow but if this is like also a week later i also went camping i might have a vlog about that i didn't get a lot of footage um but people kept taking the hanging plants off the top of the tent where it was very difficult to reach for a reason and they'd like strain to get it and then they'd bring it over and be like can i get this and i also put it on the other side of the tent because i'm at the back of the tent and i put them at the front of the tent so people could see them as they're walking by which means that it is now impossible for me to go over there and put the plant back up but those are were display only i had a sign it said display only <laughs> anyway overall it was still good for sales um would i do it again next year only if i'm splitting a booth i think i could also only split with one person because three people was way too congested and the booth in the back did not do that well because nobody could see them also kayla's candles melted a little bit <laughs> i didn't mean to put her in the sun i didn't know where the sun was gonna be i kind of just started setting up on the one side so she set up on the other side and then talking more was in the back anyway it was so chaotic um was it fun no was it good sales yeah i guess so would i do it again maybe <laughs> we'll see anyway i just want to do a quick recap but i got some errands to do i'm gonna drop off some stuff i guess i can show you now stuff at which if you're local oh my god don't worry i'm not exceeding the 20 minutes parking i'm at 13 minutes i'm timing myself <laughs> but there's crafted mart which is they sell a bunch of local stuff it's really cute they've got a lot of cute stuff i'm dropping off flowers and some other things oh you can't see it all sorry but it's like stuff that i sell at the markets and also stuff that i don't sell at the markets because i like to have some exclusive stuff but anyway i will see you in the next one thank you for watching the vlog um yeah bye